a truly global clash here in the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. We've got the Brisbane Boys College up from the Southern Hemisphere from Australia and a bit closer to home, just over the border into Wales, a Monmouth School. Looking as they move off Temple Island and into the race here. Monmouth School to the left and the Berkshire Station just working hard to keep pace with the Australians on the right-hand side. It's a good start for the Australians. Now they've travelled all the way over here. Keen to impress. You're not going to come that far with uh, anything other than trophies on your mind. No, fantastic, isn't it? And both these crews, every athlete in it, it's their first Henley Royal Regatta main draw experience. And it is the Brisbane College um, Australia who have got the better at the moment of this race. A fantastic experience. And some one of these things we talk often about winning after winning, David Gresson in the 2C hasn't lost a school's regatta since 2021. And what an amazing confidence to be able to come into a regatta like this, knowing that when you've had those opportunities, you've been able to better all other comers. Just watching Monmouth School there, they're getting quite close to the booms on the Berkshire station. Dropping the pace off Brisbane Boys College, you can see in close up there. Xavier Rubens in the bow seat. We are uh, very pleased, and so are the Cox, Bo Palmer. What an experience for them coming all the way over here and being so early in the programme on the Henry Moore Regatta schedule. Yeah, and they're making it look very good. There are 30, 31 strokes a minute at the moment. Real relaxation, we've talked about that. The two-man, he has that habit of blowing out at the finish, and that clears his lungs so they can come back in. And you can see the guys there really working well together. At 3.15, their, their time at the partway, partway mark there, um, and the bowman there just pushing on. Um, and you're looking there, we can see onto the Monmouth School, still keeping their rate hard, still pushing on, still looking to make the most of this opportunity. And you can see there the pain etched in their faces, absolutely determined to do them, themselves and their school proud, and they are. Well, eventually the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup goes back to 1941. The first visit to Henny Moore Regatta of Queen Elizabeth II in 1946 but uh, this is named after the princess elizabeth challenge cup in, uh, 1902 the cup. there you are quick history lesson for you early on a tuesday morning and i suspect many rule changes in that long history of the event but significantly this year allowing clubs as well as school to enter this but we are looking at a school and a college here um, one from Australia one from Monmouth here in the UK Xavier Rubens demanding the, uh, the rate be dropped down and why wouldn't you with a lead like that Bo Palmer the Cox And you can see there the school shield on the oars, those oars, white and green it looks like, coming through. And I wonder how often they get to race with those, because of course they will have hired these, will, these oars, I suspect. They may have brought them on the plane with them, but I suspect they will have hired them and there would have been a, some painting being going on in the boat tent in the last couple of days to prepare them for this race. And here they are really enjoying their parade past the um, tents, past the steward enclosure. So Brisbane Boys College. What time is it for Brisbane? It's uh, good support if you're watching this. Enjoying it in Brisbane. Over the line they go now. And that's a job well done from Brisbane Boys College in Australia. No scares. Seeing off Monmouth School relatively comfortably. So Monmouth School out and Brisbane Boys College through in the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup.